Good morning once again. You are watching The Trade live on Bloomberg News. We are in Hong Kong. I'm Melissa Long in today for Hustle and Dunman. is currently on assignment. Do a quick check of the markets that are in play following Anzac Day on Sunday. Uh, the day is set aside to honor those who fought in the First World War and continues to honor the soldiers from New Zealand and Australia that are still serving overseas. Now, today's talk of the trade, we're watching the time. Now, China may launch a new stimulus package come August. The China Business Newspaper is reporting plans to try to boost the economy. Paul Gordon has more on this story that is breaking for you this morning. And just how significant and large is this? Well, potentially very. Again, China stepping up efforts to prevent a property bubble, the nation has tightened real estate financing by requiring developers to submit fundraising plans for review. Let's get some additional insight on China's property sector with John Saunders, Managing Director at M Thoughts. What is the Chinese real estate market like for someone that's just becoming very interested in it? How many buyers are there right now that actually have the funds to buy not just their first property, but their second, their third, their fourth property? Well, on the face of it, it seems and I mean, the, the danger with messing with property markets, I mean... You mentioned the UK, you mentioned the US. What mm. lessons can China learn from other markets that have had troubles, and most recently, the real estate uh, bust that happened in the United States? ...to, again, uh, curb this bubble. What does this all mean for the property developers themselves? Mm. Well, clearly, the... Pretty interesting, mm. I bet, to study this, this market. Sure. No. Director at MGPA here in Hong Kong. Thank you. Pleasure Thank you meeting. very much. Thanks Good for to your see time. You. Now we're going to continue to talk about China. In fact, we're going to get insight into whether China's efforts to tame speculation in the property market are taking effect when we get the quarterly results from China's big lenders this the weekend. Not sure if you were watching and heard this, but one issue not discussed at the G20 was China's currency policy, which was really overshadowed by Greece's fiscal woes. Our reporter, uh, Forex reporter Bob Chen, joins us now with another electric car rolling into the market later this year. And this